<laughs> All right, now we're doing the butt rhyme. Today we're gonna to talk about some best practice tips for visiting Pearl Harbor. Now, there's some things you need to keep in mind. This is still an active military base. Parking is free. They do not have wheelchairs for rent. You cannot bring bags inside. They do have lockers where you can pay $3 a bag. Now remember, if you're gonna come over to the USS Arizona Memorial, you do have to schedule that. And while you are here, remember this is a grave site. This is where a lot of people lost their lives so make sure you are respectful now you heard me say that you have to reserve this there are a few options when you're coming to pearl harbor you can do this a la carte you can get the passport to pearl harbor a guided tour or you can just do the memorial but if you are wanting to get on that memorial you have to do that ahead of time so take a screenshot of this page right here so that you know what to do later links will be in the bio there are shuttles that take you to the other museums like the uss missouri the aviation museum so it's pretty easy to get around if you are handicap accessible there is an elevator to get on the missouri you may not be able to get into all the parts of the missouri but you can do the main deck being on the missouri was absolutely incredible at first i wasn't sure if i was going to like it to be honest i was like oh it's just you know a destroyer or something a battleship part of me something of that nature but seeing and learning where the japanese actually surrendered and being on an active ship was something that was truly amazing something i will definitely never forget in my life so highly recommend after here we went over to the aviation museum and i really loved this seeing all the different planes they even had a simulator where you could try to fly your own plane olivia gave that a go but this place is truly awesome each little place has a different kind of gift shop over by the missouri as you saw they had food they had some food here so don't worry if you don't have any lunch with you you can definitely eat on site um, like i said here's olivia doing that aviation simulation pearl harbor i would at least a lot of half a day if not a full day depending on how busy it is if you're going to come and visit after the aviation museum we did go over to the submarine which jeff and olivia thought was cool and that air tower you might recognize from the movie if you have any questions don't forget to subscribe and like this video and leave them down in the comment section see you next time guys bye